All right, let's get started. Shift A, we're going to adding a circle. Well, this time, let's go mesh circle, and uh, yeah, we're gonna use 32 vertices. We need a lot of vertices, and now well, let's do a ngong and making sure it's aligned to the view. So it's a good start. Next, we're going to adding a some cylinder, but we want to use minimize the amount of vertices so the the minimum vertices is going to be eight so we're going to shift eight adding some cylinder right here we're going to change this to eight and uh, let's go with to align to the view and also we're going to shrink the thing down a bit and g and z to move right here and then apply shift control a to apply all transforms is including the location rotation scale because we did rotation we did scale so we're just going to do apply all transforms and then we are going to actually adding a array modifier and empty to actually to having six of these in within the circle because later on we're going to using a boolean operation to cutting through this actually plane all right so that's what we're going to do and shift a we are going to adding a empty and then go back to this cylinder we're going to come back here to go with the array modifier and this time we're going to uncheck this relative offset and we're going to have like six of these six and then we're going to check the object offset and click the empty now nothing changes until i select the empty hit r rotate it while i'm holding control key and then i'm rotate 60 degrees and left click then it's kind of snap over here right okay so next i'm going to go back to this big circle as a plane right i'm going to adding a boolean modifier here and i'm making sure you select the difference and then you're gonna using the dropper to select the the cylinder we actually uh, created all right then you're gonna do apply now if I'm gonna hide all these cylinders and empty, you can see that this is the new uh, plane that were circle that we just created. Go to the edit mode, hitting tab key, and then you can see that we have more vertices to work on, and we already have the proper line to uh, having all this. All right. So next, we're going to join the, these two vertices. Control J, and we're gonna start uh, fixing the topology. All right. Just gonna connect dots hit J to join that so same thing here hit J to join these two J join that then we're gonna actually join this one by one and because when we set up and we're already uh, having a good topology to start working with so simply we can just kind of join these together and the one by one it's not something complicated to do so we're just gonna do that all right so a J to join that these two a J and everything is stay in qua so we're all good a J to do that J key and now it's all good except this big ungong here and also these J See like that, J, and these two looking good. And the one thing I want to show you sometimes when we adding this, we want to have a su support loop. Uh, the challenging part is if I holding Control R, it only adding the big loop. It doesn't adding individual ones. If I'm select all the individual ones, if I hitting I key, it doesn't do anything. So what we can do here is basically just temporarily fill this and I key so we can insert a support loop to making sure this edge is looking good. So what we can do here is we're just going to fill them and uh, fill them back uh, temporarily and uh, and uh, we're going to adding the support loops uh, hitting I key. All right. So I'm just going to do that F key or another way it's just going to select everything hit F key to, to fill everything obviously we already filling a duplicated a big uh, a fill 
plate, right? Because the big circle is one. So what we can do here, uh, make everything easy, hit three. So you will see this is everything we want. Alt Z, you can see this is X-ray mode. Uh, and the, this is the circle or the, this is the face that we can select and, and select this. And it's selecting everything, including the big one. So we're just going to hit X key to delete the face. All right, so just only the face. All right, delete the face. Now you can see everything is quickly being filled. So instead of doing one by one. So this is kind of a small trick that you can use. Certainly, let's do three uh, to select all these faces and hit I key to insert it to adding a support loop. And that's what we want to do. And then X to delete the face. Now, this is the proper one that we want to have. And again, uh, go back to the edge selection mode. We're going to select this ungong and hit F key to fill that. Hit I key to insert it. And hit I to insert it one more time. And I know we have some uh, kind of overlapped uh, vertices right now. And it's getting way controlled. And But it's fine. We're going to fix that. Right click. We're going to use loop tools and to make this a circle. Okay, so hit S key to shrink up and down, and then adding a support loop and hit X to delete the face. Okay, so now we have a pretty good uh, circles going on here. And right now, I know this doesn't look like a circle, but when we're adding a subsurface modifier, this is going to be a circle. Remember, the minimum uh, edges with for a circle is going to be eight vertices. So this is exactly the reason why we're using eight vertices. Okay, or eight edges. Okay, so this is the thing we are pretty much done. And then what we're going to do next is going to actually uh, select the whole ring, hit S key to shrink it down, and then hit E key S to getting another loop over here. Now it's perfect time to adding some thickness. Okay, so select, hit A to select everything. Hit go to the side view. Hit E Y. Just drag some thickness for this kind of cool array, right? And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna look at it. How much stuff we want to go? Uh, we can actually go to the extra mode and uh, Alt Z and hit C to select all of these vertices. Uh, okay. So it's like making sure you evenly select that. So now this one's being extra. The B to deselect that. Now you have this. And a, a quick selection to adding more vertices, just holding control and the, the plus key on the number pad. So we're just going to do that, right? So it's actually evenly come here. But unfortunately, it's not the way uh, I was intended to have it. But some couple points is missing. What I can do here, hit C, just tap these. Uh, so what we can do next is basically we want to making this shape look looks a little bit cooler. So what we can do here, we can just kind of shrink inside, hit S and Y, just push in, right? We're gonna having some pretty cool edge on the side. Then that's what we want. And another thing is we can even actually select these uh, edges. We can uh, hit S. Y to just come in a little bit if you don't want to have too significant shape over here. But anyway, so this is kind of the the shape that we want to create, uh, and it's pretty cool. And uh, what we can do next is we are going to adding some bevel because if I'm just going to adding a subsurface modifier, it doesn't re uh, maintain that shape. Control two, it make everything too round, right? This is not something that we want, so we need having some bevel to support these edges. Okay, let's go back to the edit mode, hitting tab key, and then go to the edge selection mode. Now we can select the sharp edges. All right. So after we select the sharp edges, and we want to making sure that we're doing the proper job, it seems like we've been selecting these edges, which is not the sharp edge we want to to use because we want to have this part as a circle. So what we can do here, we can go to the top view, Alt Z. Go to the X-ray mode, hit the B key and the middle mouse click to kind of deselect all these edges around this circle because we don't want to have sharp edges. But besides that, I think everything looks perfect. So what I would do here, I'm going to Control B to bevel, and then come down here. We're going to adjusting the width 
uh, usually 0.01 or 0.02 that will work and then for the segment I can do two segment usually that's the, my default setting and then the shape it depends on how much you want to go because since we want to go with a little bit hard surface uh, like I want a hard, a hard edge so I'm gonna change this to one to maintain the shape and then I'm gonna change this one uh, to the sharp to the arc in this case everything is a loop so it doesn't really make a whole lot of uh, difference so I'm just gonna do my default setting anyway so it's never went wrong with this setting okay so now uh, I think looking good uh, then left click type it out and then let's enable subsurface modifier go to edit mode Ooh, beautiful right so we have something going on here uh, you see this something uh, went through that we can do here to fix this is right click shade smooth so everything's gonna be smooth and now if you go in to look closely because we only have eight vertices or eight edges, this is not that look that smooth. So basically, you can just bump up the uh, subdivision modifier. If you go to four level, so it's going to become much smoother, right? So that is something pretty cool. And then if you want to do something even cooler, you can actually adding a loop cut here and uh, here hit S to scale it up. So we can adding some round up here because we have subsurface modifier looks pretty nice right you can even uh, make it bigger right uh, and this is something that you can definitely try to do so and uh, I think you will enjoy the process of having this uh, you can or you can just if you don't like this sh shape it acts to dissolve the edges now we can snap back to this sharp edge right cool so let's go to see if anything that we need to fix for the typology side. We're going to go to the edit mode, face selection mode, or hit 3. And then we're going to hit the Q and the face by side. And to make sure, see, this is the 4. So is everything being highlighted? So it's actually going to be 4 edges, so it means quads. So let's disable the uh, subsurface modifier. Let's just see better. Look like, looks like we are doing a pretty good job uh, and everything is in qual. For me, I would like to add in some support loops uh, to for this cylinder because I feel like this is too big. I'm going to hit Control R to add in a support loop for each one. And you don't have to do this uh, since you already have the bevel on the side for, for me. I just want to make this thing look a little bit better for my taste. Uh, that's why I'm adding this one, Control R, one, and this on the side, Control R, maybe adding two of these. So I think now it looks pretty nice to me. Okay, so go to the object mode, everything's beautiful. All right, this is everything I want to share in this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed this quick uh, modeling practice inside Blender, uh, having more confidence doing small gadgets of building this inside blender thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please make sure you hit likes and subscribe my channel and if you do have any questions regarding modeling please leave your question under the comment section and thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video bye